this beat. Today it is Friday, February 15th. We are one day removed from Valentine's Day. We are on the precipice, the cusp of the NBA All-Star Weekend. And you know it's synonymous with the NBA All-Star Weekend that Nike, Adidas, sneaker brands across the globe dropped serious heat this weekend. And per usual, Jordan Brand and Nike did not disappoint. They are dropping some serious flames this weekend, including an all-time favorite of mine, the Jordan 6 Infrared. That drops tomorrow. You can check out this channel for the unboxing review and on foot of that sneaker. We'll eventually get into a comparison video of the retro from a few years ago of the Jordan 6 Infrared. But we have a brand new sneaker unboxing we're going to jump into today. Shout out once again to the good homies over at Lapstone and Hammer. I say it in every single video. They are the number one sneaker boutique here in Philly. They treat you like family. They treat all their customers. You know, they, they know you by name. They treat you with respect. It's just a very good place to do business. And that's why I spend so much of my money and give so much of my business to Lapstone and Hammer. But enough of me rambling. I know why these guys are here. So without further ado, let's get a glimpse. All these warlocks. We got the Jordan 1 in that turbo green and sail white colorway. Much like the neutral gray hyper crimson colorway, it has this washed, faded, bleached, I guess the best word to describe, the best word to describe it is like an acid wash type upper. Uh, the color on this is considered, it, the color on this is turbo green. It obviously, the sneaker, most reminds me of a Carolina one. I know this is obviously a green opposed to a baby blue, but the green on this being washed and faded just really, really resembles the Carolina one to me. And if you guys have been paying attention to my channel or anything, if you're paying attention to the channel, following my life, the Carolina ones are a sneaker that you know I didn't get when they when they dropped a few years ago, and I don't do the resale thing. So this was. You know, as close as I was going to get to it, obviously, just like the neutral gray Hyper Crimson, it has this font typed right here under the swoosh. That SP19 Air Jordan 1 High. They're supposed to be uh, pay homage and homage to the Charlotte Hornets with the, you know, tealish green. You got purple. You got a purple Nike swoosh on the tongue. You got the Nike Air in yellow. And it's a Jordan 1 High. There isn't really much to say, as you guys know. As you guys should know by now, the Jordan 1 High is a top three sneaker model to me. Jordan 1 High, Jordan 3, and the Nike Air Max 1, top three sneakers of all time. It's not debatable. It's not argumentative, and it, I, it, well, I will not be argued or swayed to think otherwise. You like what you like, and they're my top three favorite sneaker models of all time. That being said, haters going to hate. I know this screams off-white ripoff. I know people are going to, you know... The, the font. I talked about this in the neutral gray hyper crimson video. People have been putting words on sneakers way before Virgil and Off White wear. So to to say that you know Nike is ripping off Off White is I, I think just a little bit of a reach. Yes, is Nike maybe capitalizing on their Off White collab by doing Off White type stuff on their current and future projects? Sure, but I, to say it's an Off White ripoff just I I don't buy it. And the quality on this, the tumbled leather A1, shatter backboard leather is not a type of quality. So I will not sit here and say where it ranks as far as shatter backboard quality type leather that isn't a type of leather. Just to touch on a couple things that I know I'm going to get asked about in the comments if I don't mention it in the video. Sizing, as always with the Jordan 1, go true to size. I'm an 8.5 in Nike, so I went with an 8.5 in these. I, I tried them on in the store. I'm getting ready to bang out the on foot. So I... I Eight, you know, with Jordan 1's being my favorite sneaker, I know the sizing, you know, pretty, I know the sizing very well. I always go true to size. Second, a lot of people are going to, a lot of people mentioned that the neutral gray hyper crimson pair had an odd smell to it. These possess the same smell, just not as strong. And lastly, it does have that same tongue, exposed inner tongue, 
you know, again, with the off-white vibes. There's nothing really much to say. It's a Jordan 1. It's a dope colorway. It's one of my favorite Jordan 1s to release that is not an OG colorway. But I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. We're going to go bang out an old foot. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow with the unboxing of the Infrared Jordan 6. But let me know what you guys think. Leave comments down below. Do you think Nike is trying to capitalize too much on the off-white collab? Or do you think... The, the put in the, the, the text and the writing on the sneakers is a dope move by them. Just a few more quick things to jump into before we do the on foot. As many of you know, the sneaker does, does come with quite a few laces. You got the white, you got the white laces that are already pre-laced into the sneaker. You have a turbo green pair and you have a purple pair. I'm actually thinking of doing a lace swap and putting orange laces in these. For some reason, I think that's going to be, you know, a dope move is they're going to pop. So I'm going to try that. If not, I'm probably going to stay with white, maybe throw the purple in. Not exactly sure. But the last thing I do want to touch on, if you guys are local to Philly or follow Lapstone Hammer on social media, Tomorrow, they are doing the Pick Your Poison of their newest dip dye collection. Go give them guys a follow. I have all their stuff linked in my description, as I usually do when I get a sneaker pickup from them. But that's it. We're going to go bang out this on foot. I'll be back tomorrow with my honest review of the new Jordan 6 Infrared. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, has been changed. Let's see what this beat.